Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth and today we are pulling everything in from my patio, treating it for whatever it may have collected out there, and then finding a home for it in my place. Not looking forward to this because it's super cold out. If you have seen my recent patio tour video, then hi, it's moments later from me filming that and bother changing my clothes to make it look like a different day. We're doing that all today. Let's just get into it. I wanna clarify that I'm bringing these plants in temporarily due to expected frost, not just for fun. Time to bring in all of these guys. Not looking forward to, to my biggin over there. Might have to call in reinforcements on that one. Before I bring the big guy in, I'm treating all of these guys ASAP. Editing Elizabeth from the future, it seems I am missing the clip where I put everything in the tub and then covered the soil in diatomaceous earth. You're not really missing much missing this clip, but I did want to let you know that that's kind of what happened uh, off camera between this, this previous and next clip. Otherwise, it feels kind of confusing. All right, so I've got the diatomaceous earth on. It was messy and imperfect. Hopefully you can see it. The lighting in here is obviously not great. But we've got diatomaceous earth in the soil, which I know won't be like, like that's a long-term solution, but it's what I've got for now. Now I'm going to treat the leaves. Now to treat the leaves, I'm going to, in my pressure mister, mix up some pure Castile soap, just a couple drops, um, water, and then some rubbing alcohol. And I'm just, I'm going to douse the leaves. We're gonna give them a nice thick coating. And then they are going to sit in here for a good chunk of the day, if not the rest of the day, before I shower them off. And I'm showering them off simply because I'm hoping that that will wash away anything that has been living on the leaves, collected on the leaves, any dust, dirt, grime that has come from outside. Most of these guys could use a water but don't need it. So I'm definitely not going to do them all that way. Like for example, this guy doesn't have drainage so he's not getting showered. We'll be doing that later today. For now, we mix and mist. I'm gonna go spray the guy outside before bringing him in. And now we wait. Also got these guys here. I did the same, same thing minus the misting because they're cacti. Off camera, I brought this guy in. It wasn't super terrible. His tray's in the other room. But what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna do the same treatment, except first I'm going to pull out um, some of this LECA and create a more soil-based mixture, because right now it's LECA with soil. I want it to be LECA and soil, because I don't think soil with LECA is possible without repotting this guy. But I do know that there's not a ton, oops, sorry. There's not a ton, a ton of roots near the top, except this this giant wraparound root, which I can pull out of the way. So I'm gonna pull a ton of LECA out, add some fresh soil. I think he'll really like that before I add the diatomaceous earth. As you can tell, kind of over here, he's already been treated with it quite a few times out on the patio because I had ants. So this won't be a new new system for this guy. But because of how established he is, I'm contemplating leaving him out not necessarily tonight because that's a lot of moving him around, but for the season, I don't know. That worries me, so I probably won't. When I brought that guy in, I had to walk past the shelf, which I thought I had lifted him high enough not to make a difference, but this brand new leaf 
got broke down in there. I don't know if he'll be able to focus. I'm hoping I can just keep him up there, but he's not even hardened off yet and he's the biggest leaf. So we're gonna try and fix this. Okay, it's not perfect, but I kinda taped him to the post. You can't see it, but he's not perfectly where he's supposed to be. He was, um, if I back up, he was facing this way a lot more, but if I do that, I can't really stabilize him. So for now, we're gonna do that and hope that it will callous to itself and he'll be able to stay there. If not, then I lost the most beautiful leaf on my plant and there's a new one joining us. All right, we're losing sunlight, so I'm just gonna show you kind of where I am in adjusting the plants. Um, off camera, I examined every plant that I moved for any sign of a like infestation of some kind. I found a spider, but that's not really a big deal. It wasn't a spider mite, it was just like a generic outdoor spider. But other than that, I found nothing. Uh, I did create the succulent garden, so keep an eye out for that video if that one's not already up. So I'm not going to show you any of the plants that happened to be happened to be in the um, gardens because I want you to go check that video out. Let's go see where everything else is. My big guy is just sitting in the middle of the, the floor because he's too big and I don't really know where to put him. But here he gets access to very, very indirect light and also doesn't block the TV. The TV's like right here, uh, like just this way of that doorway. And also there's the couch, so that kind of gives you an idea. And then next to it, I've got the rubber plant. That's temporary. I pulled him out to use him as a prop, but he will go back in the tub, except for when I'm showering because I don't really know where to put him yet. These guys are all still in the tub because they're so big and I don't have a location for them yet. This guy will probably go by the patio door um, and this guy will probably go by the other patio window just out of the way. At the moment, they're in the tub. This guy, I have no idea. Maybe I'll try and sell them again. This guy I'm tossing, I've decided. These one, two, three, four, five plants are all huddled right here for now, but they will probably go huddle in front of the patio window because that's where they can get light. I just haven't, I've been using that space, so I haven't had a, been able to put them there yet. And then my jade will probably live right here in the window next to some, some uh, Monstera cuttings and my variegated elbow. We don't bring this blind down, so that is, that is where she'll probably live. I've, I think that'll work. 
If we come in the bedroom, my left glass case, I sucked this guy on top. He'll get pretty indirect bright light right there, which I think will be good for the moment. I just need to earthquake sticky tack him down so the cats don't knock him off. And that's really all that's left. Most of this is very temporary. The weather's supposed to get better again at the end of next week or this upcoming week. So most of these plants will go back outside at their earliest ability. Tomorrow or the day after if possible, I'd like to keep them outside as long as possible because I, while moving them in and out is like not great for them, I just don't have anywhere for them in here yet. And I'm planning on getting another glass case, but I don't have it yet. So they need to live outside just a little bit longer. Also, I put the carnivorous plant in the fridge. I was told that that's what I'm supposed to do. So I put them in the fridge um, by the light. Don't know if that matters, but yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing kind of what I do to take care of my plants in weird situations. Uh, subscribe to see more houseplant content and I will see you next time.